At today's meeting, the committee also decided to conclude the reduction of our aggregate securities holdings as of December 1. At the October 29th FOMC meeting, Fed Chair Jerome Powell officially announced the end of quantitative tightening and a new program of reinvesting in more U.S. Treasury bonds or quantitative easing. Now, the two programs sound complicated, but they are not. QT means that the Fed is letting bonds they own mature and roll off their balance sheet, and QE means they'll start buying those bonds again. Now, the former tightens monetary conditions and the latter eases. The purpose of QE is to push bond yields lower by the Fed being the buyer of last resort. Theoretically, this should make bond prices go higher and push investors into riskier assets like U.S. stocks. The second part has seemed to happen as equity markets liked the news, but 10-year yields didn't go lower. As a matter of fact, they rose marginally. Now, there could be a couple factors influencing that reaction. If bond investors feel that the move by the Fed, along with lowering short end rates, will spark inflation, then it may make holding bonds less attractive and be a selling counterbalance to the Fed's buying. It also could be a derivative of the massive amounts of bonds the Treasury is going to have to sell in the coming quarters to service the massive and growing national debt and deficits. Now, the old adage has always been, don't fight the Fed, meaning there's value in buying what they're buying and selling what they're selling. But in a moment in time that has significant other concerns, that doesn't seem to be holding true, at least for now.